announcing the arrival of young Ahmad Bahagia to Dr. Siti Hasma bin Tipo Muhammad Ali, accompanied by young Ahmad Bahagia Tokwan Aisha Ong, Director, Prof. Tukuk Kamaru, and Prof. Shami. and a very good morning. Yang Ahmad Babahagia to Dr. Siti Hasma binti Muhammad Ali. Yang Ahmad Babahagia to Puan Aisha Ong, Pro-Chancellor, University Malaya. Yang Mulia, Professor Dr. Tunku Kamaru Zaman bin Tunku Zainul Abidin, Director of University Malaya Medical Center. Our ever-inspiring geriatric icons, Tan Sri Emeritus Professor Dato Dr. Augustin Ong Sok Hock, Dato Farida American, Dato Dr. Yim Kai Ki, Professor Dr. Shahrubahia Kamaru Zaman, Head of our esteemed geriatric unit of University of Malaya Medical Center, Heads of Departments, said units, and distinguished guests. Please do rise for the singing of our national anthem, Nagaraku, and the University of Malaya anthem.
this year. The Geriatric Unit of University of Malaya Medical Center, UMMC, the first and largest of its kind in Malaysia, has been caring for older people with complex multiple problems since 1999. As a multidisciplinary team of doctors, nurses and allied health professionals, the Geriatrics Unit have always been passionate about caring and empowering the older person and their caregivers on issues surrounding their health and prioritizing their needs to enable a successful and active aging. We cannot deny that Malaysia is fast becoming an aging population and whether we are caring for our older parents or relatives or even preparing to age ourselves, we will need to enhance our understanding on what it takes to age well and gracefully. We aim to promote a society where older people are highly valued and recognized as having an integral and active role in their family and community. Before we proceed with the agenda for today, let's invoke divine grace and blessings. For that, I would like to welcome Ustaz Shazni to recite a prayer. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala ashrafil anbiya wal mursaleen Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful All praise be to Allah, peace and blessing be upon your Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam His family in his companion Allahumma ya Rahman ya Rahim All praise be to Allah, upon your permission for giving chance for us to assemble this morning for opening ceremony International Day of Older Person 2008 we pray for your blessing to preserve this opening running smoothly and successfully bi rahmati ya arhamar rahimin Allahumma ya fattah alayna futuhal arifin ya Allah may the days that we have gone through starting with your mercy continue with your blessing and end it with your forgiveness and also may the days that we have gone through with guidance and end with the victory of excellence. Allahumma ya sami' ya alim ya Allah, please strengthen our commitment to participate together in this program that scheduled today by sharing knowledge and experiences among experts and participants to improvement ourselves in healthy life. Allahumma rabbana taqabbal minna dua'ana innaka anta sami'un alim wa sallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Thank you, Ustaz Jasni. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, as I've mentioned earlier, the geriatric unit of UMMC has been well established and still remains to be the largest unit in Malaysia. To shed more light about the unit, as well as the event, let us welcome Prof. Sharul Baya, consultant geriatrician and head of unit of geriatrics UMMC for the welcoming address. Assalamualaikum, salam sejahtera, and a very good morning to all. Yang amat berbahagia, Tun Dr. Siti Hasma. Yang amat berbahagia, Tun Puan Hajah Dr. Haisha Ong. Yang berbahagia, Tan Sri Augustin Ong. Yang berbahagia Datuk Faridan Barikan, Datuk Yim Kai Ki, Yang Mulia Professor Tunku Kamaruzaman, Director of UMMC, Honoured Guests, Esteemed Colleagues, Ladies and Gentlemen, We welcome you 
the launch of the Geriatric Unit's International Day for Older Persons 2018. What was to be the Geriatric Unit's annual exhibition has taken an amazing turn this year. A small idea became a more meaningful event when our humble invitation to Thorn Dr. Siti Hasma was accepted. Thank you so much, Yamak Babahanke for honouring us with your beautiful presence, particularly since you have just returned from a long overseas trip. Thank you. You have augmented the very heart of our theme this year, championing life and defying age. As the first geriatric leaders of a nation in the world, both you and our dear Prime Minister Tun Dr. Mahadev embody the very essence of what it means to age beautifully, with grace and purpose, to inspire us all never to stop learning, doing what we can for our community and people. Alongside all our guests of honour today, who have given each and contributed greatly in their respective fields for the development of our nation, we thank you for your presence. October is a very special month globally for older persons, and in particular, our geriatric unit. This is when we take time to reflect, honour and celebrate ageing. We are a multidisciplinary team entrusted with the care of older persons. We are a group of healthcare professionals comprising of doctors, nurses, occupational therapists, physiotherapists, speech and language therapists, dietitians, pharmacists, medical social workers, and at the very heart of it, the family caregivers and the patient. We work together to provide a truly holistic care to the people who need our help the most. Over the years, our team has had the privilege of caring for many memorable individuals, some of whom have left us, but also left behind the life lessons from their wisdom and experience, leaving an indelible mark on us. On behalf of my team, we thank them deeply and we hope we can continue to meet their needs to the best of our abilities. Malaysia is undergoing an explosion of population aging. There is a great need to expand our brand of care to meet these demands. The complexities in aging require age-friendly facilities, not just in healthcare, but in so many areas of life that we are experiencing in our communities. Age-friendly policies are needed to provide longevity in work, lifelong education, and social protection. This tide of the silver tsunami has given us an awareness to debunk certain myths that have been culturally practiced in that old age comes with ill health. While this may be so, ill health can be avoided by taking the responsibility and having empowerment in taking good care of oneself. Successful aging, active aging, positive aging, empowered aging. These are the underlying culture that we should embrace. So older people will continue to be relevant, valid, and contributing members of society. We do hope you enjoy the exhibition presented today and consider taking on a more active role in helping us cultivate a society of healthy aging. In the meantime, please consider this thought. Our vast oceans are made of millions billions and trillions of droplets of water. We may think that we are but one tiny drop of water and can't do or contribute much, but collectively, we can certainly make up the completion of the bigger picture. This is how we champion life and defy age. Thank you very much. Thank you, Prasharo. Indeed, the unit has grown a lot in the last 19 years and the demand for geriatric care is increasing too. Next, let us welcome Yang Mulia Prof. Tunku Kamaro, the Director of UMMC, to address us. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. The Honourable Tun Dr. Siti Hasma Ali, the Honourable Tu Fuan Aisha Ong, Pro Chancellor, University of Malaya, our geriatric icons, the highlight of our event 
Yang berbahagia Tan Sri Emeritus Profesor Datuk Dr. Augustine Ong Sung Hong. Yang berbahagia Datuk Farida Marikan. Yang berbahagia Datuk Dr. Yim Taiki. Yang berusaha Profesor Dr. Syarul Bahia binti Kamaru Zaman, Senior Consultant Jerati Unik, Kam Chairman of the International Day of Older Persons, WMMC Committee. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamualaikum and a very good morning to everyone. It gives me a great pleasure today, being the director of this prestigious institution, to welcome each and every one of you to this year's International Day of Older Persons Celebration. The team this year is on championing life and defining age. In this year's celebration, we have organized a grand exhibition aimed towards commemorating the role of the hospital and of its duty towards the elderly community. It is our hope that such exhibition would help in boosting awareness and education in our community with regards to the needs and issues of the elderly specifically. More importantly, it is our hope that this effort will help to realize our goals in delivering excellent care to the ever-growing population of, of, of the elderly. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, as most, most of you are aware, our country is aging rapidly. The distribution of the population reaching older age increases year by year, and there is a marked reduction in childbirth in this country, which further compounds this phenomenon. Malaysia will reach an aging nation status by 2035. As such, this year we have a strong reason to champion aging and that we need to celebrate our country's very own global icon of aging and our oldest premier in the world, our Prime Minister, Yang Ahmad Babu Ahmad, Tun Dr. Mahathir Muhammad, and of course, his beloved wife, Yang Ahmad Babu Ahmad, Tun Siti Babu Ahmad. I also want to remind the audience today that although today's standards of healthcare will allow most of us to live longer, the quality of healthcare may not just as well be delivered. And therefore, it is worth remembering that all of us will be old one day and that what we do here today, now, matters. As we get older, some, if not most of us, may become more dependent as our abilities to do self-care diminishes. When this happens, our self-reliance and autonomy may be overlooked and even be forgotten. And there is a danger that we are sidelined within the family and our community. We need to improve the sessions and the attitude towards older people and appreciate the important roles that they play in families and that of the society we live in. We can assure everyone that in UMMC, we appreciate and understand that there are specific healthcare needs for our senior citizens. To attest to our commitment, UMMC was the first and still is the largest geriatric unit in the country. We understand of this need well and we foresee that there will be a need to expand these services in the near future and most of us will be in need of them. However, we cannot do this alone. Our geriatricians cannot achieve great care doing this work themselves and they cannot be the only people championing this all the time. Geriatric care requires a multidisciplinary approach that requires the involvement and support of all health and allied healthcare workers and professionals. All of which we have to work closely, neatly, strongly, in togetherness to face the challenges of the future. As a premier teaching university hospital, UMMC will rise up to this challenge and make great strides in, in this delivery to the rakyat. We will move towards making age-friendly environment a necessary component in our healthcare delivery and develop innovative ways to ensure more sustainable ways of dealing with challenges. This is our commitment and that is our promise. Nevertheless, being only a hospital, we cannot do this alone. We need your support and your assistance. We need the community to be engaged and sincerely want to assist rather than throwing unhelpful and blind criticisms. We will need to be bold and face the realities of times and we will require those here to come forward and help us with these challenges. Let us hope that today's exhibit will be the beginning for greater things to come as we champion this agenda further and in doing so to provide better care for the elderly persons, the elderly and of the rakyat. Thank you very much.
Thank you, Prof. Camaro, for the inspiring address. As Sir George Bernard has said, I quote, you do not stop laughing when you grow old, but you grow old when you stop laughing. <laughs> Hence, let us all learn how to champion life and defy age. <coughs> Coming up next, we have with us a team from University of the Third Age, U3A, who are here to teach us that essentially making excuses burns zero calories in life. Why do I say so? Well, a lot of times when we are tired, we have become more dependent. We often feel dejected and give up the motivation to do anything, even exercising. This very youthful and enthusiastic group is here to teach us how to exercise while sitting. Yes, you heard me right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's all move our bodies.
Watch one, Kasuba and Dean. Please give them a round of applause. They still manage to give you a good workout, even without a helpful mind and backup. Distinguished guests, University of the Third Age, U3A, Malaysia, began in 2007 as a program under the Institute of Gerontology, UPM, to provide lifelong learning courses to Malaysians aged 50 and above. The University of the Third Age, Malaysia, like its counterparts all over the world, is driven on the philosophy of learning for leisure. No academic degrees are conferred in the lifelong learning program but it does not mean that the members are any less serious about the learning that takes place. A diverse number of courses on various subject matters are provided, and their members have championed programs of adult development and aging, healthy lifestyles, exercise, languages, namely English, Arabic, Mandarin, arts and crafts, gardening, cooking, computing, photography, music, dance, and even singing. Let's all give them another round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, music is said to speak what cannot be expressed, soothes the mind and gives it rest, heals the heart and makes it whole, and flows from heaven to the soul. Coming up next is a choir team from Sachita called D Melodies, the Senior Citizens Association of Salango and Federal Territory. Sachita has been established in 1984 by a group of retired professionals and civil servants, and their aims are looking to the needs, welfare, and interests of the community for all walks of life. As part of its activities, the Melody Choir has been formed since July 2008. It is now 10 years old, and it was started with a small enrollment number of only 15 members has grown more to than more than 75 members over the span of 10 years. Their vocal teacher, hum conductor, is Duncan Kyo Peng Kim, who is also the president of Sachita. For now, let us all sit back, <coughs> relax, and enjoy their renditions of two songs entitled One Day When We Were Young and Malaysia the Giant.
That was a very beautiful rendition. Let's all give them another round of applause, everyone. Up next, we have with us an icon who needs no further introduction. Known as the First Lady of Malaysian Theatre, she founded the Actors Studio in 1989 and in 2003 founded the majestic Kuala Lumpur Performing Arts Centre, KL Pak. Her track record speaks volume. Her string of productions have been responsible in shaping Malaysia's theatre landscape since the 1960s. Allow me to list a few of her productions. Thunderstorm, Uda Dandara, Lela Maya, Tok Kera, Ala Rita Seribu, Hamlet, and many more. And this icon is none other than Datuk Farida America. Today, she is going to do a reading of a poem entitled, Let Me Leave the Autumn of My Years As Beautifully as the Lyrics Made of It by Carmelan Siani. Over to you, Dato. There's only four men in the choir. <laughs> we have to do something about it. So he said to me, look after Joe. <laughs> yeah, we have to look after the men. We need them. Uh, I will try and do justice to this beautiful poem about growing old. Let me live the autumn of my years as beautifully as that lyric makes of it by Kamaline Siani. Let me hope that while my body may fail in strength, my spirit will grow in wisdom. Let me see that being independent is not necessarily an end all and be all, and that embracing interdependence may be the greatest gift I can give those who love and care about me. Let me look out of the window and see not how few summers there are left to me, but how beautiful are the summers left to me. Let me be relieved to know that my past is no longer my past, that it is instead my history my story of me, and that it no longer has a hold on me. Let me look at my body and see beauty, not the beauty of the curved hip and the raised breast, but simply beauty. Let me look at my children and see them not as I thought I shaped them or as I thought I influenced them, but exactly as they are, separate and apart from me, while at the same time connected to me. Let me remember that everything is old and everything is new, and that the world is either or as well as both, and that art is the only thing that makes sense and that music can take me across the bridge to the other side. Let me remember that God is made of stories and not religions, that kindness changes everything, that war is never good, that 90% of what we see in others is projection 
that the truth is worth whatever it costs to tell it, that presentation is everything, and that there is no such thing as a bad glass of tequila. <laughs> Let me be able to lie in my last hour and feel nothing but gratitude for it all, exactly as it is and exactly as it was. And in these ways, may I learn the secret of aging and dying well. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Farida American, for that very humbling and inspiring reading. Indeed, may we all learn the secrets of aging gracefully with dignity. Distinguished guest, we have with us today the Sathya Sai Harmonica Ensemble, which was formed in 2016. Its objective is to promote a healthy and enriching pastime for young people as well as for senior citizens. And today we have these five youthful talents who will play us five short melodies entitled Chana Pusaka, Chan Mari Chan, Dayong Sampan, Edelweiss, and Swedish Rhapsody. Ladies and gentlemen, as we play, we'd like you to give us the encouragement by just clapping along. Thank you. The song is Chan Mali Chan. I'd like you all to clap as you play along. Thank you.
Uli Dayong Sampan. Rhapsody.
if I may have permission from organizers to uh, say something for just two minutes about harmonica. Uh, first of all, on behalf of the members of the Satisa Harmonica Ensemble, I'd like to express our heartfelt thanks and gratitude to UMMC for the opportunity to share harmonica music with all of you today. Uh, this item is called harmonica. It's the most wonderful musical instrument that we would like to encourage all senior citizens to take it up. There are four reasons. Number one, it is very cheap. Less than 100 ringgit, you can get a very reasonably good harmonica. Secondly, it's very light. You can play anywhere and everywhere. Thirdly, it's very good for health because it helps to expand you know, and increase your lung capacity. And thirdly, it's very easy to learn. Within one hour, you can learn how to play harmonica. And we are most indeed privileged and honored today to be able to perform in the presence of our beloved young Ahmad Mulia, Tun Dr. Siti Hasma. We know that our beloved Tun likes music. We know she plays very well the violin and the piano. With this in mind, we like to present a small token of our love to Tun that is a harmonica. We should hope Toon will receive it. I love to call upon our sister, Sister Irene Chi, to present harmonica to Toon. Thank you very much, the South Yasai Harmonic Ensemble. Thank you very much, Taoya Mababahagya, to Dr. Sihasma for that little short um, demonstration, and also our audience who took part in the singing. We have now come to the event, the moment that we all have been waiting for. The climax of the event today is to be graced by Yama Bahagya to Dr. Siti Hasma, who herself is a perfect geriatric icon. Duchess, welcome Tun. Accompanied by Yama Bahagya to Puan Ai Shaong, Yamunya Pratuku Kamaru, and Prof. Sharul Bahaya.
invite Yama Babahagya to Dr. Siti Hasma to give us a few words, some pearls of wisdom. Kedah. 
and has done this uh, second round. I say, remember, you know what's coming, eh? <laughs> yeah? Yeah? Yeah. The first round was to the Sutta Mahaya, and the second round was another Sutta So I'm not going to be that. <laughs> yeah? I'm still the wife of the first Prime Minister. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm so happy. And I would very much like to thank all of you, all of you who have this event to celebrate the uh, Hari Varga Master Junior. We are all Varga Master. We are celebrating your golden, golden jubilee of the, U, of the DRC Department. Congratulations. And may Allah bless you all for doing what you are, we have to be doing and uh, also taking care of the young ones. They need our experience and we must be there to help them. Yes? And uh, I'd love to be here. Thank you very, very much to make me happy again. We would now like to welcome the director, Prof. Duku Kamaro, accompanied by Prof. Sharul Bahia and the geriatric consultants to present a small token for our guest of honour. Yang Ahmad Babahagia to Dr. Siti Hasma, who has kindly agreed to grace our event despite her busy schedule.
invite uh, our guest of honor, Yababa Bahagia, to Dr. City Hasma, to our holding room for some light refreshments. Alternatively, we would also like to invite her if, she, if she's deemed to uh, look at our geriatric wall of fame.